Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Santa Maria Goretti Parish. Let us pray the Holy Rosary. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in one God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker, maker of, of heaven, heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be a world without end. Amen. The Glorious Mysteries. The first mystery is the resurrection of Jesus. We offer this mystery for all who are sick and suffering, especially those afflicted by COVID-19. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be a world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our sins, sins save, save us from, from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The second glorious mystery is the ascension of Jesus to heaven. We offer this mystery for those serving in the front lines, medical workers, hospital staffs, security forces, pharma staffs, supermarket and bank employees, the media, and also the leaders and servants in our church and our government. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O, o my Jesus, Jesus forgive, forgive us our sins, save us from, from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The third glorious mystery is the descent of the Holy Spirit. We offer this mystery for countries that are greatly affected by the COVID-19 crisis, especially our country, the Philippines. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be a world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our, our sins, save, save us from, from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The fourth glorious mystery is the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary into heaven. We offer this mystery for the protection of our families and loved ones from sickness, danger, and harm. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O, o my Jesus, Jesus forgive us our sins, save us from, from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The fifth glorious mystery is the coronation of the Blessed Virgin Mary as Queen of Heaven and Earth. We offer this mystery for the eternal repose of the souls of our daily departed, especially those who had passed away because of this virus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be a world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive, forgive us our sins, save us from, us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, the poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us. Then after these, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, Pray for us, a Holy Mary, Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray, O, o God, God's only, only begotten Son, by His life, death, and, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal, eternal salvation. salvation. Grant, Grant, we beseech you, that, that meditating, meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise, to the, the same Christ, Christ our Lord. Lord. Amen. Amen. For the intention of our Holy Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be a world without end. Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Padre Pio. Pray for us. Santa Maria Goretti. Pray for us. Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calunsod. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to our celebration of the Holy Eucharist. We offer this Holy Mass for all who are celebrating their birthdays and wedding anniversaries, for those who are sick, especially with COVID-19, for all those who are serving in the front lines, medical workers, hospital staffs, security forces, pharma staffs, supermarket and bank employees, OFWs and seafarers, teachers and school administrators, the media, and also the leaders and servants in our church and our government. Thanksgiving of our donors and sponsors and all other intentions offered in this Eucharistic celebration and for the eternal repose of the souls of our daily departed. Today is the fifth Sunday of Easter. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father Dave Concepcion. <laughs> celebration in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the unity of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today in a special way, this first Sunday of the month, we'll pray for all those who are celebrating their birthday for the month. 
And so to prepare ourselves to participate in the sacred mysteries, let us first call to mind our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary Ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty ever-living God, constantly accomplish the Paschal mystery within us, that those you, have, you were pleased to make new and holy baptism may under your protective care bear much fruits and come to the joys of life eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Saul joins the disciple in Jerusalem. Despite Barnabas' testimony, Saul is met with fear and doubt. Because of a death threat, he is sent away to Tarsus. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Saul arrived in Jerusalem, he tried to join the disciples. But they were all afraid of him, not believing that he was a disciple. Then Barnabas took charge of him and brought him to the apostles. And he reported to them 
how he had seen the Lord and that he had spoken to him and how in Damascus he had spoken out boldly in the name of Jesus. He moved about freely with them in Jerusalem and spoke out boldly in the name of the Lord. He also spoke and debated with the Hellenists, but they tried to kill him. And when the brothers learned of this, they took him down to Caesarea and sent him on his way to Tarsus. The church throughout all Judea, Galilee, and Samaria was at peace. It was being built up and walked in the fear of the Lord. And with the consolation of the Holy Spirit, it grew in numbers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. I will fulfill my vows before those who fear the Lord. The lowly shall eat their fill. They who seek the Lord shall praise him. May your hearts live forever. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord. All the families of the nations shall bow before him. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. To him alone shall bow down all who sleep in the earth. Before him shall bend all who go down into the dust. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. And to him my soul shall live. My descendants shall serve him. Let the coming generation be told of the Lord, that they may proclaim to a people yet to be born the justice he has shown. I will praise you, Lord, in the assembly of your people. The Christian community will always be known by love. It is by love that it remains in intimate union with God. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Children, let us love not in word or speech, but in deed and truth. Now, this is how we shall know that we belong to the truth and reassure our hearts before him in whatever our hearts condemn. For God is greater than our hearts and knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have confidence in God and receive from Him whatever we ask. Because we keep His commandments and do what pleases Him. And His commandment is this, we should believe in the name of His Son, Jesus Christ and love one another just as he commanded us. Those who keep his commandments remain in him, and he in them. And the way we know that he remains in us is from the spirit he gave us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remain in me as I remain in you, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me will bear much fruit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord.
Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit, and everyone that does, he prunes so that it bears more fruit. You are already pruned because of the word that I spoke to you. Remain in me as I remain in you. Just as a branch cannot bear fruit on their own unless it remains on the vine, so neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him, will bear much fruit because without me you can do nothing anyone who does not remain in me will be thrown out like a branch and wither people will gather them and throw them into a fire and they will be burned if you remain in me and my words remain in you ask for whatever you want and it will be done for you. By this is my Father glorified, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I was given a chance to talk to a vine grower in a seemingly, seemingly dried vineyard, seemingly, because if you look at the vine, there were no, no leaves. They are completely without leaves only the vine and I asked what happened what happened because seemingly it is barren parang patay na and the vine grower said once or twice a year we trim the vine we remove all the leaves because it is the vine that produces the grapes not the leaves. And if the vine have more sunshine and enough air, the more it will produce more grapes. So para naiinitan yung vine, tanggalin mo lahat ng dahon. Para mas madalas daanan ng hangin, walang dahon. Kaya lang pangit tingnan, parang patay. Pero yung mga, mga taga-Batangas dito, nakikinig, may kasabihan tayo. Ang puno ay binabato dahil hitik ang bunga, hindi dahil hitik ang dahon. Ang puno ay binabato dahil hitik ang bunga, hindi dahil hitik ang dahon. Ano ibig sabihin ng hitik? Punong-puno, masagana. Hindi ka naman nagmamangga dahil gusto mo lang maraming dahon. Gusto mo maraming bunga. Mahalaga po yun. Ano po? It is the vine that produces the grapes, not the leaves. So, they prune it. It's, easy, it's easier for you to see, to see the dried vines and prune it. So that it can bear more fruit. Mahalaga yun. Second, second, the vine must be connected. If you produce, of course, there are times that the vine will, will, will only produce lesser fruits based on years. Pag tumatanda na, kukunti na ang bunga. Anong ginagawa nila? Nagtatanim sila ng mga, mga bagong vine. 
At yung mga bagong vine, pag yun naman ang aantayin mo na mamunga, napakatagal nun. So, anong ginagawa nila? Of course, you know this. They grab it. Grafting. Pinuputol nila yung mga bagong vines. Dinidikit nila sa lumang vines. Ano po? They see to it that it is connected. Then, mas madali yung panahon para ang mga, ang mga vine na ito mamunga. It is important that they are connected. And the second point I would like you to think and perhaps to contemplate, it is not enough that we are in contact. We must be connected. Magkaiba yun. Pag pinagtabi mo, contact yun. Pero pag pinagdikit mo, connected yun. Yung pagiging in contact, does it mean the new vine will bear the same fruit or much fruit or earlier because in contact, no. They have to be connected. Now, to put that into context, you know in this pandemic, we have so many contacts but sad to say, we are not connected. Look at your family. Are you connected? Ni hindi alam ng marami na sarili lang kapatid, magulang, may COVID na pala. Bakit? Walang connection. Walang balita. Walang pakialam. Look at your contacts. You have, you have your phone. You look at your directory. You have your contacts. Di po ba? Now ask the question, are you connected with your contacts? Many times we have contacts, but we are not connected. Ang dami mong contact. Yung mga may Facebook, ang dami mong friends. Pero hindi ka naman connected. Sabi nga nung namatay, ang lamay dumating dalawa lang. Sabi nung kaibigan, bakit dalawa lang? Ang dami niyang friends sa Facebook. Diba? Maraming contact, pero hindi connected. But it's good to us in our family. Are we connected? Or you give pandemic the reason not to be connected? Magandang pagtunan ng pansin yun. Bakit hindi mo dinadalo ang magulang mo? Wala kaming time eh. Bakit hindi mo kinakausap ang anak mo? Walang time eh. Ba't hindi ka nag-uusap magkapatid? Walang time eh. Ba't hindi ka nagdadasal? Walang time eh. To be connected is not to look for time, but to make time. Again, to be connected is not to look for time, but to make time. We are connected with God through our baptism. But we have to find time to be nurtured that we may bear fruit. In three ways. Number one, you need to be constantly doing your prayers. When I say prayers, not a self-centered monologue, but a God-centered dialogue. You don't pray because there is something you need. You pray because you know the will of God and be able to do it. You pray. Hindi pa habaan ng nubina yan. Hindi yan padamihan ng kung ano-ano. When you pray, you must do something to keep your connection with God. Pray. You don't pray because you don't have time. You must make time. Make time. Magdasal ka, busy ako, Lord. Magdasal ka, busy ako, Lord. Magdasal ka, busy ako, Lord. Ngayon may sakit ka, Lord. May sakit ako. Sabi ni Lord, busy ako. Bakit pag ikaw ang tinatawag, busy ka? Pero pag ikaw ang nananawag, gusto mo. 
binibitawan ka agad na ibang tao, ang kanilang hawak-hawak para ikaw ay kausapin, magandang pagtunan ng pansin yun. It is not to be, it is not enough that we are in contact. We have to be connected. Second, to get connected, you must continue to receive the sacrament. Continue to receive the sacrament. Minsan ka lang bibinyagan. Pero mayroong renewal of baptism. Minsan ka lang kukumpilan. Pero mayroong renewal. Minsan ka lang ikakasal sa isang tao. Hindi po ba? No? Minsan lang ang kasalan. But you have renewal of marriage vows. Minsan ka lang uordinahan. Pero mayroong renewal of vows. Pero ang panguhumpisal, hindi lang minsan. Pag may kasalanan ka, mangumpisal ka. Hindi lang minsan ang pagsisimba. Hindi lang minsan ang pangungumun yun. You receive. That's why we open our church and we have communion outside the Mass because we don't want people to be gathering together, putting each other at risk for being confined in one place together more than 15 minutes. Dumating ka. Tapos darating, ibang nangungumun yun. Late. Late. Ang haba ng oras, 10 to 11, darating ka, 11.15. Father, but wala na? Siyempre, tapos na eh. Tapos sasabihin, ang oh, strict ni Father, no? Di ba? Kung sa klase nga, Late ka ng 15 minutes, absent ka na, hindi po ba? No? If we will be lenient with little things, we will be lenient with bigger things. Receive the sacrament. Anointing of the sick. Every time you are sick, hindi yung naghihingalo. Magpa-anoint ka. Father, may sakit ako. Oh, hindi hindi yung i-anoint mo. Bakit? Mamamatay na ba ako, Father? Hindi, matagal ka ng patay. Ano po? Pinipilit ka na lang buhayin. Kung kailan naghihingalo, saka kayo maghahanap ng pari, mag anoint Hindi, mali. Kaya nga naintindihan yun eh. Seek the Lord when He can still be found. Nawala ba ang Diyos? Hindi. Kaya lang ang pagkakataon, dala ng COVID, hindi natin nagagawa ang dati natin ginagawa. Stay connected. Pray. Receive the sacrament. Third, read the Bible. Read the Bible. You don't buy Bibles for display. Read them. Father, hindi ko maintindihan. Magtanong. Basahin. Ano sabi ni St. Jerome? Ignorance of Scripture is ignorance of Jesus Christ. You cannot say, I know God if you have failed to read your Bible. Kung naalaala ninyo, inimbitahan ng isang pamilya ang kanilang bagong, bagong pari at yung pari, impressed na impressed. Talaga ang ganda ng pagkakasetup ng lamesa. Ano po? Talagang mukhang mga tinagong silverware inilabas para lang sa kanya. Ang hirap kumain ng gano'n, no? Yung ang dami kutsara, di mo alam kung ano ba gagamitin dito. Ha? Ang ulam naman, sinigang lang. Di po ba? Ano? Di ba? Eh, eh, gam, tama na yung isa. Ang dami. Anyway. Pag uwi ni Father, napansin nila na wala yung isang kutsarita. Ay sabi, pambihira naman si Father. Inuwi pa yung kutsarita. Ano po? Siguro nagustuhan niya. Wala siguro siyang ganyan. No? Ha? Napaka-cheap ni Father. Nag-uwi ng kutsarita. Ay nagagalit siya kasi kulang na yung isang set. After one year, inimbitahan nila uli si Father. Hindi na nila ginamit nila ba yung mga bagong ano, tinago nila. Yung ordinaryo nila. Baka mag-uwi uli. Hindi po ba? No? Tapos nagkalakas ng loob si Mrs. Alam mo, Father, last year inimbitahan ka namin. Naalala niyo, uy, thank you. Sabi niya, Father, baka naman 
na waglit mo na kapag uwi ka ng kutsarita. Pinagbintang ang pa, pare. Di ba? Alam mo, sabi ni Father, hindi ko inuwi. Kinuha ko. Isiningit ko sa Biblia ninyo dyan sa table. Inuulit ko. Kinuha niya yung kutsarita, isiningit niya doon sa Bible na nandun sa table. Ang sabi lang ng pari, it simply means you are not reading your Bible. Because if you have been reading it, you have found the teaspoon. Mahirap yun. You want to be connected? You don't pray. You don't receive the sacrament. You don't even read the scriptures. Stay connected. Baptism is not enough. You bear fruit by being nourished through the Holy Spirit. You look at the first reading. You look at the second reading. That faith is not only an ascent of the mind, but a conviction of the heart, so that our lives will be ruled by love and to order ourselves for the good of the other. That is what faith is all about. How are you going to bear fruit? Only when you are nourished, when you understand that it is the vine that bears the grapes, not the leaves. Remove the trimmings of your life. Remove the trimmings. Naintindihan mo ngayon, hindi pala ganun ka-importante ang lipstick. Di ba? Eh kasi palagi ka naka-face mask eh. Tipid, no? Pagandahan na lang ng eyebrow at saka, at saka pilik mata, hindi po ba? No? Sabi ng isang babae, kinakabahan ako, Father. Bakit? Simula nung nag-face mask, dumami aking manliligaw. Sabi ko, tanggalin mo ang face mask. Tignan mo yung mukha sa salamin. Baka pangit ang iyong bibig. <laughs> Di ba, ano? Sorry for the words. Naalala ko lang yung nakapila ako sa Watson. Nakapila. Tapos sabi nung nasa unhang ko, sabi nung isa, ang mahal ng lipstick, 2,000. Sabi, pero sale ito, sale. Sabi ko, oh, mahal naman ang lipstick, 2,000. So tinitingnan ko yung lipstick na kinuha nila. Kasi babalik pa siya, bibili pa siya ng isa. Kaya mahal ng lipstick, ano? Buti na lang, di ako nagli-lipstick. Pero so, sorry for the words. Ay magagalit na naman. Huwag ko daw sasabihin niyo, sorry for the words. Tapos, sasampalin ko naman daw. Di ba? Ibig sabihin, tabi, tabi, tabi. Di, tinitingnan. Na-excite ako doon sa mukha ng babae, di ba? Ano? Sabi, ang mahal ng lipstick. Pagtingin ko, di naman maganda ang labi. Di ba? Ano? Sayang lang, lipstick. Di ba? Ano? Ha? <laughs> Remove the trimmings. You will not go to heaven by the lipsticks you use. My brothers and sisters, you will go to heaven by how careful your mouth speaks of the words. Ano mas mahalaga? Yung lips or your words? You know the answer. You know the answer. Remember this, it is the vine that produces the fruits Second, get connected. Don't just have contacts. What glorifies the Father is the fruit. Examine your life. To bear the fruits of love, peace, and joy, gentleness, goodness, faithfulness, perseverance, and self-control. Have I grown? Have I bear fruits? Again, my brothers and sisters, remember the saying, binabato ang puno dahil hitik sa bunga, hindi dahil hitik sa dahon. Amen.
Let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For as men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended to heaven. And is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father in the Son, who with the Father in the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters, as we affirm our faith in Jesus our Lord, we thank our Heavenly Father and ask Him to fill us with His choicest blessing. And every petition let our response be, Father, make us grow in your love. Father, make us grow in your love. Keep the church in your love. Guide and protect all church leaders. And make your people a living in the transformation of the world. We pray. Father, Father make, make us, us grow, grow in, in your, your love. love. Bless all families with your strength and love, with your joy and peace, with health and laughter. We pray. Father, Father make, make us, us grow, grow in your love. love. Grant that the sick and the lonely those in bondage and those in exile receive consolation and help. We pray. Father, Father make, make us, us grow in, in your love. Embrace our departed loved ones into your loving arms, for being with you is their true home. We pray. Father, Father make, make us, us grow, grow in, in your, your love. love. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father, make us grow in your love. God, our loving Father, give us all the joyful reassurance that you are always with us through your Son, Jesus, our Lord. Grant that we may never be separated from you so that we may bear much fruit for your glory through Christ, our Lord. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that this sacrifice of yours and mine be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. By the oblation of His body, He brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commending Himself to you for our salvation, showed Himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. <laughs> Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, gave you thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave you thanks. Gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, 
Mass, we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Roderick, our Administrator, all the bishops and all the clergy. Father, please hear the prayers of your children gathered before your holy presence. Let's spend a few moments of silence and I invite your brothers and sisters that you personally ask the Lord for a special grace you want to receive in this Eucharistic celebration. Ask the Lord. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Santa Maria Goretti and all the saints of you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and to praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and into one. Let us now pray to the Father in the very words our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Free from sin 
and save from all distress. As we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Kindly look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant us peace within our hearts, peace in our mind, peace in our own homes, in our own families, peace in our workplace, peace in our community, peace in our country and in the world. And grant unity in accordance with your will who lives and reign forever and ever. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now bless one another by giving each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Brothers and sisters, this is Jesus, the true vine, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are you who are invited here to receive him in holy communion. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray the prayer of Padre Pio Petrucina. Stay with me, Lord, for it is necessary to have you present so that I do not forget you. You know how I easily abandon you. Stay with me, Lord, because I am weak and I need your strength that I may not fall so often. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my life and without you I am without fervor. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my light and without you I am in darkness. Stay with me, Lord, to show me your will. Stay with me, Lord, so that I hear your voice and follow you. Stay with me, Lord, for I desire to love you very much and always be in your company. Stay with me, Lord, if you wish me to be faithful to you. Stay with me, Lord, for as poor as my soul is, I want it to be a place of consolation for you, a nest of love. Stay with me, Jesus, for it is getting late and the day is coming to a close and life passes, death, judgment, eternity approaches. It is necessary to renew my strength so that I will not stop along the way, and for that I need you. It is getting late and death approaches. I fear the darkness, the temptations, the dryness, the cross, the sorrows. Oh, how I need you, my Jesus, in this night of exile. Stay with me tonight, Jesus, in life with all its dangers, I need you. Let me recognize you as your disciples did at the breaking of the bread, so that the Eucharistic communion be the light which disperses the darkness, the force which sustain me, the unique joy of my heart. Stay with me, Lord, because at the hour of my death, I want to remain united to you, if not by communion, at least by grace and love. Stay with me, Jesus. I do not ask for divine consolation because I do not merit it. But the gift of your presence, oh yes, I ask this of you. Stay with me, Lord, for it is you alone I look for. Your love, your grace, your will, your heart, your spirit, because I love you. And ask no other reward but to love you more and more. With a firm love, I will love you with all my heart while on earth and continue to love you perfectly during all eternity. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for our family. Dearest Father in heaven, bless our family and bless us with new beginnings. A smile upon our parents and surround our children with a soft mantle of your love. Teach every child of ours to follow in your footsteps and to live life in the ways of faith, hope, and charity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Kindly mention your intentions. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Santa Maria. Goretti, Pray for us. Please write. As I have said earlier, we will pray in a special way for all those who are celebrating their birthday for this month of May. If you are among the celebrator, may I ask that you put your hands over your chest 
those who are joining us in our online masses or those who are participating today. Kung meron pong may birthday dyan sa inyo, kindly stretch your hands towards him or her. Let us pray. Ama naming mapagmahal, idinudulog ko po sa iyo ang lahat ng iyong mga anak na nagdiriwang o magdiriwang na kailang kaarawan sa buwan na ito ng Mayo. Kilala mo silang lahat, Panginoon, saan man sila naroroon. Kayo ang nagbigay ng buhay sa kanila. Alam mo ang kanilang mga pinagdaraanan, mga pagdadaanan sa buhay. Alam mo, Panginoon, ang kanilang mga pagtawa at pagluha, ang kanilang mga kahinaan at kalakasan, ang kanilang mga kabiguan at tagumpay. Alam mo rin, Panginoon, ang kanilang mga pangarap, hindi lang para sa kanilang mga sarili, kundi para sa mga mahal sa buhay. Lord, birthday nila. Humihingi sila ng iyong pagpapala. Nawapoy patuloy mo silang ingatan, ilayo mo sila sa lahat ng uri ng kapahamakan. Patuloy mo silang pagkaluban ng kalakasan, kalusugan, at kung meron man sa kanilang may karamdaman, nawapoy dulutan mo sila ng kagalingan. Panginoon, kung meron man silang suliranin o problema na pinagdadaanan, lalong-lalo na sa panahon na ito ng pandemic, nawapoy tuwangan mo sila. Alisin mo po ang kanilang mga pagkatakot at pangamba. Dagdagan mo po ang, ang kanila mga pananalig at pananampalataya sa iyo. Nawa po ang kanya-kanya nila mga pamilya ay pagharian mo ng pagmamahalan, pagkakaisa, pagkakasundo-sundo, kapayapaan, kasayahan, puspos ng pag-ibig at kasaganahan. Panginoon, ang mga kapatid naming nagtatrabaho sa ibang bayan na nangungulila, kayo na po ang magbigay ng pag-asa at kapayapaan sa kailang mga puso sa pagdiriwang ng kailang kaarawan malayo sa kailang mga mahal sa buhay. Kung ano man po ang kailang mga panalangin, ano man po ang kailang mga hinaing, nawapoy kayo na po ang magbigay. Maging kalugod-lugod po ito sa iyo, Panginoon. Sa tulo at panalain mga banal, lalong-lalo po ng mahal na birhen, gayon din ni San Jose at aming patron, Santa Maria Goretti, pagpalain mo po ang may kaarawan sa ngala ng Ama at ng Anak at ng Espiritu Santo. Amen. Amen. Happy birthday. Ano po? Bawal pang kumain sa labas, ha? Ingat, ingat. Going back to what I've said, keep in mind it is the vine that produces the fruits, not the leaves. We are the branches. The only way to produce fruits is to be connected not only in contact with God. Let us be connected with God. We were connected through our baptism. We have to be nourished by the gifts of the Spirit And we have to nourish ourselves by looking for time, finding time for prayer. Find time for prayer. Prayer is not a self-centered monologue, but a God-centered dialogue. I pray not because I want to get what I want, but to know the will of God and be able to do it. Second, receive the sacrament. Receive the sacrament. Do not forget that the Eucharist is the apex and the summit of our Christian life. Third, what glorifies the Father is the fruits that we bear. You want to glorify the Father? Bear fruit. Fruit of love, of peace, of joy, of gentleness, of kindness, faithfulness, self-control. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, who by the resurrection of His only begotten Son, was pleased to confer on you and to your family the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by His blessings all the days of your life. Amen. May He, by His redeeming work, you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, Make you heirs to an eternal inheritance. 
Amen. And may you who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith, by living in a right manner on this earth, be united with Him in the homeland of heaven. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you and your family, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Ingat po palagi. God bless.